What's going on guys? Xdarnik X here. Yes, I'm still alive. Um, you know, I don't make much videos anymore. Just, you know, I don't have much time and, uh, you know, I don't have a collection room anymore either, but I'm still buying stuff. And uh, something interesting came in the mail today. So I got this box. Thought I'd do a little unboxing for you. Um, this is from NCSX, which is actually located in Queens, New York. And I live in Queens, so it's perfect. And they got this inside a bag here. And what do we got? Oh, new Zelda figures. How convenient. This is the new series that came out by Takara Tomi Arts, and it's two characters each from Skyward Sword, Ocarina of Time, and Phantom Hourglass. Unfortunately, the Phantom Hourglass figures are just repeats of the set that came out for Phantom Hourglass. I just realized I'm not wearing my wedding ring. I'm still married. Sorry, ladies. So here you go. Got all these figures. Now, I kind of want to keep them sealed, so I don't know why I'm doing this uh, unboxing video. Because I think I'm going to keep them sealed. The six figure set. I don't have a collection room at the moment, so I don't see why I should open them. Oh, but wait, maybe I'll buy a second set. That's right, guys. Always thinking of you. I bought two sets so that way um, I can keep one sealed and then show you guys one. See, here's more bubbles. It's not really an unboxing video because I already unboxed it, but I thought I'd show you guys. So, this is the uh, paper that comes with each figure. You can get a little quick look. And yeah, see, so yeah, like I said, it's the same figures from. Uh, you can see it, I made a video for that set, for the uh, Phantom Hourglass set, which I think is a five-figure set, but they're only released two for this one. So let's uh, show them real quick. They're on a new base. There's Link. It's a new base with the uh, game logo. Here's, uh... Now I'm drawing blank. Tetra. Phantom Hourglass logo. I don't know if you can see that. Here's the Ocarina of Time ones. I really like Zelda's pose. That's really cool. That's a nice sculpt. Uh, the paint job is pretty good on this. Uh, there's a couple parts where it almost looks a little smudged, but it's not too bad. The logo. Um, the logo is for the... Uh, I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of hard to see with this camera, but it's for the 3D version of the game. Here's Link. This is a new sculpt also. It's got the Deku shield in the back. It's kind of cool. No, but these are this is a really nice set. And then here's the, the best one. So let me show you Zelda from Skyward Sword. She's got the harp. This is a pretty good sculpt. I really like this. They're tall, too, these figures. Um, they came apart in a couple pieces, uh, the two Skyward Sword figures. So her feet come off and the base comes off. And you can see the Skyward Sword logo. And here's Link. Oh, that's really blurry, and he fell. Sorry about that, guys. So Link is really tall. His sword is bent funny, because uh, it was in the bubble. But uh, I messed around with it a little bit, and I'm able to get it pretty straight. I could probably get it to really stand up straight, but... They're going to go back into the packaging for now, anyway. Link has an angry face in this. I mean, he's really angry. Um, yeah, I finished Skyward Sword. It was an alright game. Definitely not the best in the series. Definitely not the worst, so... All in all, pretty fun game. There you go. So I thought I'd just take a minute to show you guys the new set. Uh, sorry I haven't been making videos recently. Also, today, on the very same day, I got my Link on Opponent Pona statue from First War Figures, but unfortunately I don't think I have the room right now to really show you that, to really take it out of the box. I, um, I opened it up real quick just to make sure nothing was damaged, and then I, uh, I registered the, uh, I registered the uh, serial number on the website, but I don't think I'm going to be opening it. Originally, I had pre-ordered both the exclusive and the uh, regular edition, but I don't know. I the exclusive one was kind of ugly, and I didn't think it was worth the money. As much as I wanted to get it, just so I have the full set, it was so much money for something that I kind of think is ugly. So, just wanted to show you this cool new set coming straight from Japan. Um, I believe it's still available right now on the website NCSX, so uh, check it out. It's a cool set. Thanks for watching, guys.